I went on that date. You know, the one that Mallory set me up on. The guy was... Uh, I don't know. How do I put this? Interesting. Yeah, so that date? Um, she was nice, I guess? So it started off kind of awkward. I mean, I guess most first dates are awkward. I don't know. And then he just started talking and uh, I can't even remember. He started talking about his job, what he liked doing. Listen, all I know is he just kept talking. And I was getting so bored. All I kept thinking during the entire time was, damn, I wish he was my ideal. <laughs> you know the kind of guy I'm talking about. Don't give me that look. You know exactly what I mean. The kind of guy that's dangerous, but gentle. A guy that's out of this world. Sexy, sensual, romantic. The kind of guy that's tough on the outside, but deep down secretly, he's sensitive. A guy that's passionate. <gasps> talked about stuff, she has a job, a Dalmatian, I don't know, I don't really remember, I guess I didn't care. I just wish I was at home watching, you know. I just need a woman who is sexy, confident, tall, large, well, <laughs> other assets if you know what I mean. Oh yeah. Anyways, we talked for a little bit more. And it was awkward. You know, at one point, though, I just gave her a lame excuse like I had to go do my laundry or something. And I was so relieved. She just wasn't my type. He just wasn't what I was looking for. Oh, yeah, baby. My dream girl's gotta be out there, right? Sometimes I wonder... Does my dream guy even exist?